What's up, brothers and sisters? It's your brother, G World 7 underscore D. You know, I, um, I want to make a, probably a little quick comment regarding this uh, Chris Rock situation and Will Smith. Actually, as black people, we got more important things to do, talk about, and more important issues that we should have on hand, man. But I just really wanted to say this real quick. Um, I don't believe Will Smith should have smacked him on the stage, but I understand why he did that. Because Chris Rock has been insulting that family for a while, man. Back uh, when Will Smith was doing, when he did the movie Concussion, about the NFL and head concussions, that... um, I guess his wife felt that he should have been nominated. It was a good, it was a good movie, man, and a good subject matter. But the Oscars ignored him, man, and just basically uh, ignored a lot of black uh, talent during that year. And then I remember Jada Pickett Smith talking about boycott the Oscars instead of Chris Rock being supportive. You know, he got up there and like he usually does, some coon, man. And he insulted, he insulted, um, basically, knowing the, uh, the, uh, Smith family, but black actors in general. And then he made a derogatory comment about Rihanna. I can give a damn about Rihanna, because she insults black Americans, period. But he, he went on to insult her, too. So where were this white outrage or this other outrage? I noticed that. A lot of whites and others get over dramatic over issues when someone black does something, man. It's it just, it's just funny. What they're doing with these white, this is white liberal racism. What they're doing is so typical to me, man. They get over dramatic over everything, and uh, they just show their true hand of how they really hate melanated people, man. It's like they, they had an envy of us, our style, our culture, the way we look, because they want that of us. But then they want to hate us. But then the sad part, you got some of us who are just saying certain things just to please white mommy and daddy just to get some Scooby Snacks, man. Some little biscuits or patting the head, man. It's really sad when you hear, see some of these black media people. It's truly sad, man. You know, the same thing happened with Deshaun Watson, man. You get a lot of these little racists out here, particularly these women, but men too, but particularly these women is Molly Quorum, Quorum, that's her name, Quorum. Uh, this Kay Adams, the NFL Network. Um, you know, uh, that Mia Kimes, whatever. It's just so racist in that uh, one used to be in the ESPN. That old blonde haired bimbo, uh, what they got rid of. She's saying derogatory stuff about Deshaun Washington. You listen to Mike Frilio and Peter King, who's a little fat behind. They, they seem to be upset that the brother got all that money, man. And then Stevie A. Smith, old sell out ass, talking about he shouldn't get that much money. And then talking about he's not, basically saying he's not that great of a quarterback to pay for that much money for. And that, I think that's insane, man. Sean Watson is the second best quarterback in the NFL. Second to um, uh, the guy from Kansas City, man, the brother from Kansas City, the mixed brother from Kansas City. Man. And Deshaun could actually be better once he gets to play with better receivers. But the out and out racism that you see from these uh, white folks, man, is, is just hilarious, man. They become dramatized divas when it comes to black men. But it, see, the problem is that why a lot of these white folks defended Chris Rock is that he giving them he gives them cover for their racism. Man. Chris Rock says things to rock to our community like he got black, he got ends. I mean, really do, really do that. That that wasn't even funny to me. There's a lot of blacks who who were in my circle just didn't think that was funny. He's not funny to me, but. White folks love people like that. Bill Maher loved people like that. Because they can be racist to us. 
and then the uh, Negro blacks would shield them, like the Democratic Party so racist. But you get those Negroes like Michael and Dyson, Al Sharpton, who be their shield, man, and cover up their racism. And Joe Biden is racist as hell, man. He's worse than Trump, man. Biden is worse than Trump. All right, but Biden, if Trump were to do some of the things Biden has done, he would be called a, a racist and everything. But since Biden's a Democrat, you gonna have Negroes of a certain age bracket. Negroes who went to a lot of these little uh, HBCU schools, who are just gonna give him, who's just gonna shield him, because they're flunkies of the Democratic Party, because they have been indoctrinated with BS. So I, I just don't, I just don't understand that. Why we as a people continue to try to change other people who are non-melanated black opinion of us, man. We should stop trying to try to change them because they're not going to change, man. These people are not going to change, man. These people, like, it's what Elijah Muhammad said, man, as a group, devils. And we're going to have to understand that, man. Some of us do not do not want to come to that realization. Some of us live in dreamland. Some of us want to be accepted. This is our land, man. We don't need to accept anyone. They need, just need to accept the fact that this is our land. They came here and stole our land. All right? We only need to accept ourselves. We don't need to accept other people, especially these people, man. And it's just getting over dramatic with Will Smith. Over dramatic, man. That's sick. And we need to distance ourselves from these people. Man. We really need to distance ourselves from these people and understand that we have no friends. We have no friends. We have a bunch of enemies. This is why that we need to put our differences away and build as a nation. Because we have enemies all over, all over the place. We have people who look like us. Like I said, how some of these so-called blacks are going out of their way to please white folks. Many of them are Indigenous blacks of here, some of them are immigrants, man. But we cannot continue to try to be friends with these outsiders. Because they continue to show us a devil ways. That's why when I, I do my research, I want to give you certain books that, that I have. And from the journals that I have, or may talk about documentaries that I've seen, so you'll understand. You can do your own research. So that's like the information that I have that I know about. I'm giving to you, but this is needed, man. It's so sad that how these phony people are blowing up a situation between two individuals that it's really not even that big man, of a deal. It really isn't. And the Oscars, the ratings probably went through the roof because of the situation. So, but we have to really come to grips that we have no friends. And these people are straight up evil. They inherently evil. So, just as a people now, this gives, should give us even more intuition to just do our research, to study who we are, realize who we are, and understand and love who we are. Because this is, this is the time we need it. I was listening to one of the brothers, I think it was uh, Ab Power, when he was talking about um, 
So it was Freeman, and it was, I, I believe he was, it was him playing the playback of Freeman was another brother. Now listen to them, the the Freeman. And to me, they they you know, they, they are extremely ignorant, man, <laughs> about our history, and that's what we had to deal with. We just gonna have to go on and just continue to educate our people and love ourselves because we do not need these white folks of Hollywood. We have enough income and influence amongst ourselves to build amongst ourselves. But to listen and to have seen some of these black people attack Will Smith throughout through the media, it's sad, man. Because like I said, they're trying to win brownie points with white people. That's the Negro Boule. I'm here in Chicago. You have the a a boule here in Chicago who all they want to do is kiss white people behind. Yeah, we have a Negro radio station was the boule radio station. And all they do is it seems like they just praise their shield for the Democratic Party and and dump everything negative to Republicans, which the Republican Party has done have done nothing for us, but Democratic Party haven't done nothing for us either. So why are you shielding the Democratic Party and praising the Democratic Party? They're trash just like the Republican Party. You're supposed to basically use your vote, weigh your options, present your ideas, what you want, and whoever whoever says they're going to do something for you, then that's why you, you push your vote. You're supposed to leverage your vote. You just don't give your vote away to the Democratic Party. And that's what these typical Roland Martins, that Greg Carr, Mike Eric Dyson, who's a complete idiot, man. I mean, they clowns all through Chicago back in the day. That that man is just, he just give you verbal gymnastics, running his mouth. and doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He's been doing that for years, but they're nothing but Democratic shields. That's all they are. So white liberals, when they make racist comments, these Negroes will cover for them. Because these Negroes, they're just looking for a job in one of these white racist administrations, man. Like I said, I live in Chicago, and the racism here is through the roof. Particularly, you see it in certain, well, South Side is mostly black, and then you probably say it's, it's uh, probably Mexican, then. You you don't have any predominantly white areas on the south side. White folks are mostly that I know up north. South side, like I said, is mostly black. Even um, Bridgeport is mostly Mexican now. So, and then you had the east side in Hegwish, which is like bordering Indiana. That is mostly Mexican. Yeah, South Chicago have everybody up there, but it's mostly black. But that's east. Too, but you know, you 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 have to realize, man. I've been in Chicago. I live here, and I know how a lot of these white folks get down. And to constantly see the the drama queen in the white men and women over this Chris Rock issue is just it's hilarious. But it just shows me. Well, it continues to show me the devilish ways from them. I'm not a member of the Nation Islam, like I said, but the Most High Elijah Muhammad said some pointing things about the white folks. He said they're devils. And I agree with him 100%. I agree with their brother 100% because they're showing it. They're showing it. And some of us I really need to wake up with ourselves because we got to stop. Got to stop trying to impress other people, trying to gain acceptance. We, it's never going to happen. These other people do not like us. So we need to just worry about ourselves and build amongst ourselves. Because this is really, it's really, really sad. And it's sick. It just tells you how sick these individuals are. And these lot of these little white celebrities... We don't need to support anything. 
that they do. Don't support them. Let's this this boycott them. Let's boycott them and show the power of our dollar. Because Hollywood will not be where they, where they at if it wasn't for the black dollar and we go out to the movies. Let's boycott. Let's do that. Because we cannot continue to be a rug where everybody's stepping on us. This is really insulting. If this is really, this shouldn't even be this big of a deal. This is between two individuals, they, they should work it out backstage or let them work it out amongst themselves. But to get over dramatic, not Chris Rock, supposedly ticket sales off the roof. His white folks want to hear him continue to belittle black people, particularly black women like that silly ass documentary did about the hair thing back in 2008 or seven. He's insulted. He has insulted black people for years, man. He's not funny. But he's a shield for white racist bigots and other bigots, like John Ligamazano, who's not funny. And the comedy made by Will Smith is disgusting. He, that clown claimed that his people fought in every single damn war in the United States. Man, now he's not even from here, man. <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah. But it, but... Not only we fought in every war here as black people, so-called black people, uh, we are indigenous people of this land, of the Americas, of Atlantis. So I don't really like the mess that I'm hearing, but it's typical. But it's typical. It's the same pattern that these people do. That's why I try to keep my interaction with them to a minimum, man. It's just not worth it. I don't want to be around them. There's plenty of nice, beautiful black neighborhoods. I live in one. <laughs> I don't want to be around them. I really don't want to be near them. Their, their ways and what they do disgust me. And I just think that we can do things ourselves. So we need to stop depending on them. We're trying to befriend them because they're not going to change, man. These people are not going to change. These people have a devilistic nature. They've been doing this for years. They're not going to change. Some of our people want to seek their change. I'm saying every single person like this, no, but as a group, they're showing you their same devilish ways that they've been doing for years. So please, wake up, brothers and sisters. Love yourself. Love who you are. I'm going to try to do something... Do a little video on Friday, and then post it up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do one of miles, or like I said, I'm gonna probably do that like in May or June of miles, because I'm gonna feature a particular book, and and I want people to go get it and reach research, research from there. So that's all I gotta say. This is my little ramble. Peace and love. There's just love. Let's just start to love ourselves, love who we are, realize that we're more than descendant of African slaves. Let's don't use no term ADOS because we're not descendant of no slaves. And also, let's definitely use the term the, the freedmen people who claim that, you know, some of the stuff I'm hearing them saying, they're, they're extremely questionable, man. They're, they're lost. They just think they're slaves from Africa, which is silly because... So-called black people indigenous this planet. All over the world. So just wanna just wanna give my little ramble on that issue. And that's it. Peace and love.